TKR, Total Knee Remedies, a comprehensive examination and non-surgical alternative management of your painful knee can still extend the useful life of your natural joint. I'm a physical therapist with osteoarthritis. Pain has been a strong motivating factor for me in exploring non-surgical, non-opioid remedies in order to remain active. My interest in graphic arts and patient education compelled me to create this explainer video. An arthritis update, if you will, from a clinician and a patient point of view. CT, MRI, and fluoroscopy images that I will share here are that of my own arthritic knees. I currently receive this cost supplementation, one of the treatments outlined here. This has allowed me to maintain a healthy and productive lifestyle. Knee joint health can be maintained conservatively by physical therapy, bracing, assistive devices, activity modification, weight loss, alternative therapies, oral meds, and steroids. Debilitating pain, however, compel many Americans to undergo total knee replacement surgery at a rate of 700,000 annually. This is the traditional or surgical approach. But many do not want to, not ready for, or just can't have surgery for medical reasons. In this segment, we are going to walk you through FDA-approved, evidence-based, and research-supported minimally invasive TKRs or total knee remedies, such as hydrogel injections, stem cells, and genicular nerve blocks. Normal, healthy knees move through their full range of motion without stiffness and pain due to intact cartilage and adequate synovial fluid volume. In osteoarthritis, the wear and tear of cartilage develop over time. As we age, we do not produce adequate hyaluronic acid, or HA, as we load up our knees. Cartilage eventually gets weak, erode, and separate from bone. Cartilage is avascular. It has no blood supply and therefore does not regenerate. Similar to appendages like hair and nail, it is also a neural, meaning it is not innervated by sensory nerves and therefore does not feel pain. We will not have knee pain unless cartilage has eroded, exposing subchondral bone, which has sensory nerve endings. Likewise, in the barber shop, we will not complain of pain during a haircut unless our scalp is injured. We will not feel pain during a manicure unless the clipper hits our nail bed. Our hair and nails will keep growing, but cartilage will not. Our bodies are like cars too. We have many moving parts that wear out in time. A misaligned tire or brake pad will wear out eventually. Lack of motor oil or other malfunction can cause our check engine light to alert us. Images to the right is my knee MRI and 3D CT. When cartilage wears out, we develop osteoarthritis, a progressive disorder resulting in the development of bone spurs and characterized by swelling, pain, stiffness, decreased range of motion, and loss of function. Common causes and contributing factors to the development of OA are advanced age. Variations in the levels of HA in the joint capsule could account for some of the most striking alterations of the aged knee joint. A genetic defect in the body's production of collagen a protein making up cartilage can lead to early OA. Defects in the way bones fit together may cause cartilage to wear out unevenly and faster. More women than men have OA due to biomechanics, hormonal modulation, and neurologic factors. Post-traumatic arthritis from injuries at work or playing sports account for 10 to 15% of OA due to mechanical stress caused by altered load distribution and limb alignment. Joint pain is strongly associated with increased body weight. Being only 10 pounds overweight increases the force on the knee by 30 to 60 pounds with each step. And finally, bone cells need a steady supply of blood to stay healthy. Avascular necrosis can ultimately 
lead to destruction of the knee joint. 54 million Americans have doctor diagnosed DJD, making it the leading cause of disability in the US. There are 100 types of arthritis, always the most common, affecting 31 million Americans. Earnings losses and medical costs account for a combined economic impact of 304 billion, which is 1% of the US GDP. A closer look into a normal knee at grade zero reveal adequate joint space, intact articular cartilage, no bone spurs, and bone attrition. Grade one is assigned when there is possible small osteophytic lipping and doubtful joint space narrowing. In grade two or mild OA, there's definite osteophytes or bone spurs and possible joint space narrowing. Grade three or moderate OA show moderate osteophytes, definite joint space narrowing, some sclerosis or hardening of subchondral bone and possible bone and deformity. Grade four or severe OA is characterized by large osteophytes, marked joint space narrowing, severe sclerosis, definite bone and deformity or bone attrition, a flattening or depression of articular surfaces. The International Knee Documentation Committee system is more concerned on the amount of joint space narrowing from four millimeters to less than two. Below IKDC are corresponding kelgren lorentz grades of osteoarthritis. The knee is the largest and strongest joint in our body. It is a complex mechanism of bone, cartilage, ligaments, muscles, and tendons. It is made up of the lower end of the thigh bone, the upper end of the shin bone, and the kneecap. The ends of these three bones where they touch are covered with articular cartilage, a smooth, slippery substance that protects the bones and enables them to glide easily against each other as we move our leg. Cartilage acts as a cushion and gliding surface. Synovial joints, like the knee, has a joint capsule or a container-like structure which seals the joint space. It also provides passive stability by limiting movements and active stability through its proprioceptive nerve endings. Using an anatomical model to simplify and better visualize a joint capsule, a comparison of a normal versus an arthritic structure is presented. Normal is plump and juicy like a grape. Arthritic is dry like a raisin. Another way to drive the point is using common items in a physical therapy gym, namely hand weights and water bottles. One is full of HA molecules and the other is depleted and deformed. In a way, not only is the joint capsule depleted of volume, the ends of the bone also do not have complete cartilage. There is fissuring and separation of cartilage from the bone. Simplified by our hand weight analogy, we can compare side by side a normal and an arthritic knee characterized by fissuring, inflammation, cartilage erosion, bones per formation, joint space narrowing, and subchondral sclerosis. Conservative management of OA includes physical therapy exercises for flexibility, strengthening, stabilization, and the use of physical agents to modulate pain, improve ROM, and balance. Bracing may help reduce pain by shifting weight off the most damaged portion of the knee and unload part of mechanical stress of certain activities. These may improve our ability to get around and increase the distance we can walk comfortably. Assistive devices can help with function and mobility. These include scooters, canes, walkers, splints, and shoe orthotics. Activity modification at home or work include activities that are easy on the joints, linear versus lateral, slow versus sudden, and other activities that do not twist or pound the joints too much, like cycling, water aerobics, or walking. Weight management can help people with OA reduce pain and limit further joint damage by reducing additional stress to the joints, basically by eating fewer calories and increasing physical activity. Natural alternative therapies like nutritional supplements, acupuncture, massage, relaxation techniques, and hydrotherapy may be beneficial. 
Non-opioid medications for OA are available as pills, syrups, creams, or lotions, or they may also be injected into the joint. They include pain relievers like acetaminophen or Tylenol. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs or NSAIDs ease inflammation and related pain, and they include aspirin, ibuprofen, and the leave. Corticosteroids like Depomedrol, Dexamethasone, and extended-release Zolretta may make the effects of the hormone cortisol, which helps to lower levels of prostaglandins, effectively controlling inflammation. When all these fail, total knee arthroplasty or replacement surgery may be the next step. This is the traditional hospital or surgical approach. I also work in the hospital and we get them up in less than 24 hours. 70% are happy with surgery and the rest are not due to healing reaction and patient compliance. Total knee alternatives in interventional arthritis strategies offer the use of orthobiologics for tissue engineering like platelet-rich plasma or PRP, stem cells from bone marrow, aspirate, or BMAC, umbilical cord, amniotic, and adipose tissues in an attempt to grow articular cartilage. Genicular nerve block, or GNB, is a radiofrequency treatment targeting nerves that transmit knee arthritis pain signals to the brain. Ionic heating produced by the friction of charged molecules thermally deactivates them. Knee pain signals will no longer reach the brain. Both of these procedures will benefit from visco-supplementation for joint protection. Visco-supplementation, which has been the choice for millions of OA sufferers, has a robust safety and efficacy profile. It is the injection of HA into the knee to restore normal viscoelastic properties of the pathologically altered synovial fluid for joint protection, cushioning, and lubrication. Research studies suggest that visco supplements also have disease modifying effects such as reduction of synovial inflammation, protection against cartilage erosion, and promotion of endogenous HA production. FDA approved hyaluronic acid demonstrates a statistically significant reduction in knee pain and increasing levels of mobility in the majority of patients treated when compared to placebo. HA is all over our body. It is present in synovial joint fluid, our skin, eyes, gums, blood, and muscles. When we don't have enough in our skin, we develop wrinkles. Not enough in our joints, we experience pain. HA acts as a positive structural molecule, providing a mechanical function for joint lubrication and to dissipate impact forces. It is also a signaling molecule that stimulates the release of endogenous HA. HA is also nutritive to tissues. It forms complexes that absorb water and help cartilage resiliency. The natural aging process leads to a decrease in the molecular weight of HA in cartilage, leading to erosion, fissuring, and subchondral bone exposure. With advanced age, we no longer produce adequate hyaluronic acids, so we have to get it somewhere. Since 1997, HA-based products have been developed for osteoarthritis and are called visco supplements or injectable hydrogels. Here's a comparison of molecular structure and weight of healthy human HA, that of an arthritic knee, and different hydrogel formulations as measured in Dalton's. The number of injections required are based on thickness. Hyalgon, Genvisc, and Suparts require five shots. Ortovisc require four, and Euflexa, three. Nature made human HA being the thickest. Accurate HA application is accomplished with the aid of knee fluoroscopy. It is live motion imaging similar to an X-ray movie. A continuous beam is passed through the knee, which is then transmitted to a monitor. Diagnostic contrast media assist doctors to visualize if needle placement is precisely inside the joint capsule. This is done to eliminate the chance of injecting improperly, 
resulting to waste in time and resources. This is a properly placed needle in my left knee. Contrast media visibly goes in the joint capsule. With thousands of procedures performed, even seasoned doctors can place the needle outside of the joint capsule as this image of my right knee shows. With fluoroscopic guidance, corrective action can be made. Dye visibly bounced out prior and it is now going in. This is double confirmation first as diagnostic followed by therapeutic arthrogram. It helps diminish complications and lessen local flare reactions around the knee. It is now safe to apply HA hydrogel as depicted here. After the completion of a series of injections, the volume in the joint capsule have increased from low to optimal levels. OA is still present, subchondral bone is still exposed, and there's still cartilage fissuring, but at least there's more volume in the joint capsule for lubrication, cushioning, and joint protection for six months or more. Thicker HA has a lower friction coefficient. The duration of meaningful relief and improvement in function depends on number one, body weight. Research suggests that for each pound of body weight lost, there is a four pound reduction in knee joint stress. Even modest weight loss may significantly lighten the load on the joints. Number two is severity of OA. How bad were the knees when first starting treatment or the baseline grade? Number three is level of activity. Motion is lotion. Joint movement improves knee hydrodynamics, the squeezing and reabsorption of HA. And number four is compliance with our joint health program. This includes knee ROM exercise with a recumbent or floor bike at least 10 minutes daily. This spreads the gel without translation of body weight on the knees. Perform these exercises daily with suggested reps, sets, and hold time. First is calf stretching. Hamstring curls. Long arc quads. Straight leg raises. And hamstring stretches. Cryoanalgesia in the form of ice application is safe, pragmatic, and effective in controlling pain by numbing the area. It also controls swelling by constricting blood vessels. Its therapeutic value is within 15 to 20 minutes. Don't put ice directly on your skin. Wrapping it in a washcloth prevents ice burn. Some knee joint pain may not just be orthopedic, but also neurologic or vascular in etiology. If so, your doctor may prescribe other therapies such as electric cell signaling to improve circulation, modulate pain, and improve strength, and or cold laser or photobiomodulation to stimulate the body's own healing processes, leading to reduction in pain, swelling, and improved healing time. You may also need screening for peripheral artery disease or PAD. It is convenient, quick, easy, and portable compared to a traditional ABI or ankle brachial index. A report can be generated within five minutes and sent to your doctor. Positive outcome from your treatment hinges upon your commitment to our joint health program. As a team, we will do our part by increasing the volume in your joint capsule for cushioning, lubrication, and joint protection. We will guide you through flexibility, strengthening, and stabilization exercises for optimal joint kinematics and hydrodynamics. We will utilize proven, safe, and effective cutting-edge technology and physical agents for tissue repair and healing. Your part is to ice your knees daily. Refrain from high-impact activities, but perform your home program of exercises until the completion of your treatment plan. You do your part as we do ours, and together we can get back on the road to a healthy, 
comfortable and active lifestyle.